So OpenAI have now rolled out an exciting new feature called Deep Research to all of their paid plans. So initially, this was just launched on the Pro plan, the plan that costs $200 a month. It's now available on Plus, which costs $20 a month, the Enterprise plan for large businesses, the Team plan for smaller businesses, and the Education plan as well. So what is it? So it's essentially an ability for ChatGBT to go out, research information and data anywhere on the internet, anywhere that it has access to, so that includes its vast database as well, and then produce a document. So this typically could be a report, and it can be in any format that you wish. So it could include tables or charts, for example. So the key benefit of this is time saving, because it can take hours and hours to generate such a report, to trawl through all the links from, say, Google, and then visit those websites, visit those links, some of which may or may not be useful for you, record all that data, and then compile your document. So ChatGBT with deep research can now do all of that for you and in a high level of detail, providing all the websites that it has used to reference the material. So let's have a look at an example to see exactly how this works. So if I look at this one I did earlier, which is a marketing competitor analysis for Under Armour, for the sports brand Under Armour. So this essentially could be for any business and any website site, you could just substitute your own in there. And I've added a few of Under Armour's competitors. Now, this is just simply one suggestion, one idea. It could be a more in-depth competitor report about the business itself, but I've chosen to focus on marketing for, for this one. And it could be literally any field that you like, could be medical, could be legal, could be financial, any of those subjects, particularly if they are heavy with regard to information and data. So what it usually then does is come back with some clarifications. It comes back with some additional points and questions. So for example, it's asked if I want to stick to the competitors that I've specified or add in additional ones and other points like about around metrics, time frame, depth of analysis. So I've then answered those questions, as you can see, and then it confirms that it will create the report. And here we have the report underneath in very great detail. So it starts off with Nike. It's even got the level of detail of, an enge of engagement rate on Nike's Instagram, for example, and interaction rates, follower numbers, all sorts of data and analysis going on here with that data. So you can see that we've now moved on to Adidas, then we've got Puma, then we've got strengths and weaknesses under each of them, all really useful if you want a marketing comparison, all very useful information for obviously improving your own marketing in the case of this uh, this report. And then we've got Gymshark, I think that might be the last uh, competitor. Let's see, now we've got Lululemon is the last one there. All the channels, social media channels advertised, website, SEO, and strengths and weaknesses. And then we now get some comparative performance metrics related to Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and Twitter, now known as uh, X. And we've got the sources of this information listed here. And indeed, wherever there is informational data, a source is referenced. So then we come on to key insights and actionable conclusions getting towards the end of the report that UA could implement, Under Armour could implement, all under specific headings. So really, really very useful and detailed content here. And then we've got a concluding paragraph. So just a couple of other points. It's it's very useful that the tool, this new feature, actually outlines what it is doing as it is working away. And we can see that by clicking this little link here. So we can see that it's taken 14 minutes to produce the report from 25 sources. And if I click that, you can see its workings and reasoning. Now, this is actually presented in real time whilst it's comp compiling the report, but you can see that you can access this 
at any time. So this is its kind of activity. Now, if I go to this tab here, I can actually see all the individual sources. We've got citations here of all the different websites um, that have actually been quoted in the report. And then we've got the sources, all the reference sites that have actually been accessed. So a great new addition to ChatGPT for anybody that is on one of their paid plans. And of course, once you've got your report, you can share it with colleagues using the share icon, for example, here, or you can copy and paste it uh, into a Word document, for example. Uh, just one final uh, point that if you want to upload your own files, so to provide your own data, then it can also access that, or perhaps you might want to upload an example or something like that. That is also possible. So you can see that we've got the usual file upload button that's enabled as well as the deep research button. So there you go, new feature available, deep research on all paid plans on ChatGPT. Really, really useful. Hope you found the video helpful.